We're trying to make up our mind where to go today. It's windy. Miles going to take a walk down the street where I live. They just put this new walkway in. You remember last month they put that in. This is a new section. And then they put the Girl Scout project. Three of the girls in the neighborhood painted this wall. Of course, the wall's already been here. But they did a hell of a job on it. Look at it. Two, three girls painted it. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? And this was added the other day. This is something new. A little free library. Donated by Girl Scouts. Kids books, adults books. <laughs> I'll be damned. Well, let's go down here and take a look at it. Now, I can tell it's rough by the wind coming up this little walkway. Yeah, it's too damn rough. Damn, we wanted to go on the bay too. Not a, as you saw, is bleak. But this is a. Un Dishes are not favorable for hunting in the water where we'd have to hunt. Not many depositors out. Ah. There goes the neighborhood. Where to go now? Stand by. The walkway stopped right here. They put this section in this week, the last uh, four days carried it all the way out to the street which is pretty nice well we're headed back to the button patch you remember that big old home used to be here they tore down last winter well they look like they're starting back on building it now I don't know it's all gonna be a steel frame house Wow that's some scooters stand by the path the golden path to the northern territory. Right many depositors down here at the northern territory. There's some big waves, rough, rough as bricks. Let's see where my buddies are coming. The low tide Tim was with it. Mumbles man was driving. Here they come. Nice slope to the beach. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a nice steep slope. I got the new coil on. We're going that way. North. Forty-three. So I don't think it's a button. But it might be ten meter cent. I don't know why it's got to be so deep though. Stand by a minute. Tim's making out down here. He went north of us fast. Hold on a minute. False alarm. Dime and a couple pennies. 
I got a couple pennies and that got my first big money there. <laughs> it's kind of bleak here, isn't it? Yeah, I went all the way down to the window. After we left that little spot and started up, I didn't find anything. I found a few pennies there. I know it's bad. I kind of thought it would be, but you know, I thought it might be a little better down this way. I said I wasn't going to get my feet wet today, but there's nothing up there, so I'm going to try along the edge here a little bit to see if there's anything down here. Because there's definitely nothing up above there, except a few meager coins. You having lunch, buddy? Is it a good lunch? I got him. He said, yeah, it's a good lunch. I can have a catch him. I got him that time. Up the beach I go. Rough as bricks. My second quarter. I think me and the mumbles, man, I got the mumbles. This is our turning around point. This is a Wyndham Hotel, the only hotel along the northern territory. 58th Street. We've been 11 blocks and just got 11 cents. What you see is some depositors here. Back. Well, we've been off the beach about 15 minutes, but we lost uh, Low Tide Tim. He's missing in action. He went north, I mean, he went south, and he's out of sight. <laughs> There's a mumbles man's nut. Four quarters, a dime, two nickels. Seven or eight ten pennies, a sinker, and a tent stake, and a piece of what's the name. He did a lot better than I did. <coughs> no leers will fly for this nut. I think that's uh, like 90 minutes, maybe two hours. Whatever it was, it was too long. I guess we're going to the bay tomorrow if the wind drops out. Sounds like it anyway. <coughs> I'll get back to you on that. Good luck to everybody. We'll see you.